Hi guys, Gretchen with Yoga and Earth, here with your Earth Star Chakra lesson. Yay, finally on to the chakras. Okay, Earth Star Chakra, what the hell is that? I've never heard of the Earth Star Chakra. Ha, this is why we're doing the chakra lessons. So the Earth Star Chakra is going to be below your root chakra. Get this, below your feet and below the ground. Yep, you are actually walking around with a chakra point that is below the ground and it just follows you like this creepy stalker chakra. Whee! It's not just the ones up here that follow you around that are outside your body. There are some, there's at least the earth star chakra below your body. Sanskrit called Vasundhara. Vasundhara. Um, the daughter of the earth, the super root. It works like, um, you know how trees talk through their roots? It's a little bright. Apologize for the glaring. Um, okay, so trees talk to their roots. They communicate with each other through their root system underneath the ground. They can communicate with other trees, other trees of different species. They can communicate with other plants. Um, they use mushrooms, I think mostly for that, but they communicate with these little systems under the ground. We are connected not only to the trees and to the mushrooms and to the flowers through, the, through our earth star chakra, we are connected to each other through the earth star chakra. Our bodies communicate to each other through the earth star chakra. Clearly those of us um, who have activated our earth star chakra, work on it deliberately, can communicate a little better with other people who have done that. People who stay in their upper chakras, which a lot of us healers do because we work in our superior chakras from our heart chakra up when we're healing, right? Um, we emote through our fingers, through these chakras, we emote through our third eye, through our heart through um, the really strong ones, sometimes through our solar plexus chakra, but I'll lay bets that most of you guys use your third eye chakra more often than any of them um, while emitting that beautiful heart light. So when we stay in those upper chakras, we really need to pay attention to those lower chakras deliberately to keep us balanced and grounded. It's important to stay balanced as a healer. If you're not anchored to the ground, you're going to float away and you're not doing yourself, your clients or anybody any good being just floofy and out in space, are you? You need to keep that beautiful balance between the two. If you've gone past your Isui uh, second level, you have been attuned to your Earth Star Chakra and your Soul Star Chakra, starting to get those in balance a little bit. <clears throat> Well, when our earth star chakra is in balance, it aligns our energies with the earth, allowing us to feel more compassion, feel a bigger connectivity to not only the earth, its inhabitants, um, not just people, all the animals. It shows, we show greater compassion and empathy. We gain a greater interest and appreciation for the universe, for the stars, for the planets, for the greatness that is there, for all of that energy that we feel flowing through our body. Um, now, the actual location of it is up for debate. It's been debated by Vedic scholars for centuries. Um, they say it's anywhere, well, we're just going to say it's anywhere from 6 to 18 inches below the earth. And you activate it with the base of your foot. In reflexology, this part is the solar plexus chakra. That is also going to be one of the places that you can imagine those roots shooting down. Also, every single little middle point of your toes, the balls of your toes and your heel. So almost your entire bottom of your foot has little tiny points for these chakras, these uh, energy chakras that go whoop, whoop, whoop into the ground. You just have to picture it. Now, in order to do this, you really should just do some meditation, some nice grounding work. Any time spent in, in nature will help ground you, especially if you're barefoot. Um, barefoot in the earth, 10 minutes earthing, you do feel those beautiful vibes coming up and it's because of your earth star chakra. Science has shown, I love these, uh, the scientific studies for not only the trees, but for the, the earthing for the people. And it shows that your stress level, that your rest and restore goes back into action and you lose that stress because the earth helps to heal you. All right, the Hertz level is going to be 68.05 if you listen to Hertz while you, Hertz music sounds, rhythms while you meditate. Um, at the end of my sessions with my clients, I will do, I, usually I'll do a series of like three, I call them my closers. 
and my Rama, the Dumo, sometimes Daiko Mio, because that's a good grounder too. And then Raku to finish this the uh, session. Rama, almost always I put on points from the knees, middle, ankle, and the bottom of my client's feet. That helps keep them connected to the earth, keep them balanced. Um, I do work with a lot of trauma people, so keeping them grounded is really important. Um, it will definitely, definitely help you to see the bigger picture. Your, your bigger picture will increase. You've noticed your bigger picture increasing the further you go in your energy studies. Um, and it's going to keep getting bigger and bigger. You'll see larger pieces of the puzzle and you'll see that it's insignificant. Um, other things that bothered you will stop bothering you so much. If you are very driven to perfection, to look perfect, to be perfect, to act perfect, to have the perfect house, the perfect blah, 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 your perception of perfect will change and you'll figure out those things are not that important. Life is more important than perception of life. Some affirmations for you. If you're an affirmation person, I'm an affirmation person. I listen to them. I say them. I say them in the shower while I'm doing my little quick rinse. Um, I am present. I am grounded. I am balanced. I am healthy. My past is healed. My present is healthy. I am here. I am good. I am one with the earth. Just keep going along those lines. I am balanced. I am grounded. I am present. Because when you're grounded, you are present. When you're not grounded, when you're in those upper chakras, you're in your phone, you're thinking about hmm, that email I got the other day or that post, or I should have responded to that person differently. You know, that's, that's, that's all in the past and none of that is, is relevant to this moment right here, right now. So activating and maintaining that activation, you do have to deliberately work. As healers, we do have to deliberately work at being grounded. Yoga helps, meditation helps, hikes help, swimming helps, anything outside helps. Laying in your car, watching the stars, believe it or not, that helps. Um, make sure that you are concentrating, visualizing those beautiful grounding cords reaching from your feet deep, 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 deep into the earth and just let all of that beautiful prana come up from Mother Earth herself. These are your daughter of the earth chakras let mother feed you feed your little daughter chakras right that's what you know con connectivity is all about um we're, this is not your root chakra your root chakra your mudalahara is from your perineum your earth star chakra is going to be from basically the bottom of your feet and it is located below the earth that little special spot below the earth just for you follows you around everywhere follows you through the stores follows you everywhere so until next time and the root chakra lesson namaste